I want to say praise the Lord. I'm Thomas Manta the fourth. I want to thank God for you who are becoming partners of the ministry. I see people receiving business packages of revelation ideas, creative ideas, just to uh, uh, to see something so beautifully creative, and it's just going to be given to them, given to you like somebody held it and presented it to you as a gift. God's going to do that for many people. I'm reminded of a, a businessman's wife who we knew some time ago who bought a property for almost next to nothing based on a prophecy that I delivered. In fact, I wrote it in a book about a certain property in a certain specific place and I, sa I described the place though I'd never, I had never seen it, I saw it in a vision. Well this one businessman read the prophecy, somebody gave him my book. And uh, that's out of print now but we're going to go to reprint on that. I need to dig that, arc that book up again and uh, add a little more to it and release it again. Prophecies. And he went and bought the property and then the downturn of the economy hit where everything is just, uh, the tourism industry in the coast is way down. I was just there. Yeah. Economy and business, a lot of people are really suffering. And these are people that were walking one day in multiple millions. I mean, they were doing all kinds of deals, all kinds of business, and it just leveled off because of the downturn of the economy. It really has happened. And his wife called and said, Prophet of God, the Lord spoke to me. I had a dream. I kept having this dream. And I saw your name written uh, in the sky. Thomas Manton, call Thomas Manton, call my name, call. And she, she didn't just dream it once. She kept getting the dream over and over again. Finally, she called and I thought, well, okay, not enough to call me. Let's see what we're gonna do now. So a smart move for them Dear people, and they've sown into our ministry large gifts before. They're really great partners to reactivate their partnership. And it's not just, it's not about the money, it's about the connection with the anointing. Now when you're sowing, of course, you're going to get a harvest on, on that. So one without the other. I mean, you can't reap a harvest when you've not sown a seed. No seed, no harvest. Uh, only a, a foolish, insane person would think they're going to get a harvest from a seed never sown. You ask a farmer, say, well, here's the land, I'm expecting tomatoes, but I never planted any seeds. People are going to go, this guy, this guy needs to be taken to the doctor, you know, the, the, the head doctors. It's not going to happen. So I'm challenging you to get a seed, a first fruit, a, an offering, something to help us in the missions. Some people are tithing to us because they're our members, like I am their pastor. You come under our covering, come in our, our, under our grace, come in our, in, to be with us in our church. Uh, here in Nairobi. And we'll have branches in many other cities. Um, and they're tithing and they're getting blessed. I mean, they're growing, they're growing. You can see the growth. So many people, we have people now that were living in the ghetto with nothing. Today they're running multi-million companies, three and four with shops. We have people here, here in Nairobi, people that came through this anointing and they're so blessed. And there was a word just given about anybody that gets attracted and connected and does something, that money is just gonna to begin to flow. So I, I would be very, um, negligent in part of my calling not to tell you this and if I don't come and say this here to you thus saith the Lord he's speaking through his prophet here this to you then I'm I, I'm out of order on that I, I'm, I'm wrong I'm responsible to God for not telling you how to get blessed so this is a time to celebrate celebrate the Lord celebrate the ministry celebrate dominion celebrate the life of this prophet here that's speaking to you with a very special gift right now. And uh, I'm sending you this little video letter so you can uh, uh, partake of this blessing. 
And uh, the word was spoken to about the love of God. You, know, you can feel it in the service. Yeah, you can feel it. You can feel it in me, right? I tell people, I love you. Do you know I love you? And they all smile and they go, ooh, yeah, because it's tangible. It's the Holy Ghost. Remember Romans 5, 5 says, the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. He pours out his love through us. It's by his spirit. So people need to be loved. You want to have a house of love, a place of love, a place of uh, the touch of impartation of anointing teaching of the laws of success and the laws of finance, <laughs> breakthroughs, miracles, healings that were even happening today in the service, you're in the right place at the right time. So support the work, connect with this, uh, connect, connect with me as a partner, connect with our missions, connect with me as a partner, and honor the, the life of God in us, the anointing of God in us, and God will honor you with great power and great victories. Watch, it's coming. I love you much. Talk to you on the next broadcast. Remember the words of our great predecessor, the prophet Isaiah, who said in 48, 17, I am the Lord your God who teaches you to profit and leads you in the way you should go. And like we always like to say, if you want a prophet, P-R-O-F-I-T, you need to find God's prophet, P-R-O-P-H-E-T, because we're leading you there to the realm of profit and increase. So many people are stuck, so many people have financial needs, discouragements, all kinds of problems, warfares, curses, lack of anointing maybe in the church that they go to, the people that they know, the communities, the familial curses and things that are running down the bloodline. So much going on in Africa. And there's also so much going on everywhere in America. My God, devils and Europe, devils. I mean, the devil's just trying to do whatever he can to ruin people's lives and wreck the world. But we're standing against him, and I'm standing against him for you. So as you connect, I see your face, I see your name, I see you in my scope, my uh, viewfinder, you know, I see you there, I got you, I got you, and I'm going to take you into prayer. Uh, uh, be praying before the Lord for you on your behalf to give you the miraculous in your life. But if you're not a partner, oh, how can I do it? You're far away. I don't, you know, you got. You have to approach God. You have to approach me, all right? And especially with a, with a love gift. It's going to really speak for you, for your seriousness about the connection. And uh, the information will be on the screen uh, right now. PayPal, the website, and PESA, all of those numbers, here they are. And we're going to leave them up on the screen as we close out. You make a note of those and use those. Uh, in Kenya, you can send an M-Pesa. Anywhere in the world, you can use PayPal. Even here, people like to use PayPal. And also, that works through our website. And another thing in America is called Cash App. And my handle on Cash App is dollar sign DR for Dr. DR Thomas Manton. Dollar sign DR Thomas Manton. And when people use a debit card, there's no fee. But it's not so popular over here yet. It hasn't really hit over here yet in, in the continent of Africa. But in America, it's a big thing. But PayPal's great, all right? And you just sow the amount you want to sow. Don't worry about the fee if you want to add a little something for that transaction percentage. But I don't care. We'll even cater for that. Just make sure you connect. Uh, some people are becoming $111 a month partners. Um... According to Deuteronomy 111, I love that scripture. You might want to pick a scripture verse and say, I want to sow according to this verse. 48.17 is a good one. For Isaiah 48.17, Psalm 66 verse 12. 66.12 was a good one. Uh, it says, men rode over our heads for a season, but now, Lord, the time has come where you're bringing me into my wealthy place. And that is the word of love for you. Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 13 is a good one. So that's 28113. That's the number. Maybe it's 28,113. <laughs> I'm, I'm having fun with numbers here. And you know, and I do that because I wanna I wanna remind God of my of my seed that is attached to a promise he gave. That's why I do that. And I've heard people, you know, they come and they mock that. You know, I've heard preachers sit at the table. Famous people who you'd know, some of them. They were, well, uh, you know, this thing about the seed. Because people have abused that. You know, people have really made a, a, a run for that and do all that stuff. And then it gives it a bad name. But in the pure sense of doctrine, I want to remind God of his word. 
So if I take a seed on a certain amount, a thousand dollar seed is also very powerful, right? That would be what? A hundred thousand shillings. Well, let's say you could do ten thousand shillings in Kenya. Or eleven thousand one eleven. I've sowed that seed many times. A hundred and eleven thousand. I've also sowed that many times. Which is like a hundred, like a thousand and a hundred and eleven dollars. U.S. dollars. Great seed in honor of Deuteronomy 111. The Lord said, I want to make you a fat and bless you a thousand times more than you are. Do you know if you take that in faith and do something like that, what the Lord will honor that and do it for you. Many people don't have because they don't do. You have not because you ask not, and then you 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 you're also asking something wrongly. Because God said when we uh, 1 John 5.15 said, when we ask anything according to your will, we have this confidence that you'll answer it. But when it's according to your will, because some people do things the wrong way for the wrong reason and God doesn't honor that. But when you have a sincere and pure heart to sow for the advancing of the kingdom, the harvest is assuredly yours. It's absolutely yours, and the Lord is going to do it for you, my friend. So take action right now. Ask the Lord what he'd have you to do. Ask the Lord what he'd have you to do, and let him give you the impression of what you should sow, the amount. Somebody might have a car you're not using, or a piece of land, or property you want to donate to the ministry. We're here to receive it. We want to receive it. Anything at all. Some people also want to donate some of their time. To help in the work that have a certain skill, you can also do that. Get in touch with us. So all of our contact numbers are on the screen uh, right now and also the ways to sell through PayPal, Cash App, the website thomasmatthew.com and in Kenya by M-Pesa. All right, so I look to hear from you right now in this very uh, exact, precise moment right now that we're in. And the Lord's going to do something absolutely phenomenal for you. Also on Sundays in the city of Nairobi, Sunday afternoons, 3 o'clock, we're having our services. I want you to come and join us there. And for anybody that's anywhere else in Africa or in the world, you can join us online on the social medias. And um, our messages are being broadcast there. Also, the messages we're doing are also being turned into books. Uh, I'm very excited about that. I'm writing several new books. You'll be able to partake of those. So the Lord bless you, my friend. And those that sow a significant seed, I said this today, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to send you a digital copy of my book, The Benefits of Excellence, as a love gift of appreciation to you. And the principles in there, when you read them, will absolutely revolutionize your life. Because God wants you to have excellence, and He wants you to have great favor and success, and I'm praying for that for you. The success strategist right here, God's prophet to the nations right here. And your pastor and friend, I'm praying for you, my friend. I love you very much. Looking to hear from you, and I'll see you on the next broadcast. And I also look forward to seeing you in our meetings. I love you so much, and I'm praying for you. The Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Thomas Matthew IV, I love you so much, and I'll talk to you later on. God bless you.